I'm Jordan Greenfield. And I'm Cassin Ward. And you are watching Hollywire. What is up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with the CEO and CMO of Hubi. I'm here with Jordan Greenfield and also Cassin Ward. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for Thank having you. us. I want to play a quick game with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, We're here for it. This is your first it. Hollywire interview. I'm going to Let's ask you a it. series of Hollywire first questions. Yeah. So who was the first person you got on Hubi? I'll, go, I'll give it to Todd Smith. Okay, who's Todd Smith? Todd Smith is a Vlog Squad member. Um, I say he, he dates the Oprah of the social space, Natalie uh, Noel, who's, who's David Dobrik's <laughs> business partner. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, and what was your first um, your first idea that got you excited about who you? What was the first, like, you know? I think it was the landing pages when we were kind of making them like just by hand. So we were doing it, I mean, I think that just gave us a gateway and the understanding that we had something that we could run with, uh, that we wanted to build out, right? And I was making, you know, websites for some of these people instead of having an actual product where they can go and edit it. I mean, that was at least it for happened me by accident. gave us that shot. We yeah. built a couple of these pages for a couple of our close friends that have yeah. that big followings on social. And the response was 30 more big creators saying, how do I get a page like this? And for us, We've tested a lot of stuff in the market for years. That was the initial go that like, there's something here, let's get building. I love that. Yeah. And when was the first time you realized that this was something? It was around this time two years ago, and we sure. actually, it was the first um, Thanksgiving in a long time, because obviously the pandemic that I didn't make it back east, but we took in a, a $250,000 check when we had no money in the bank. Um, and we, we ended up celebrating. We did a little Thanksgiving in, in Venice here with a friend that was living here at the time. And we brought in $250,000. And for us at that point, that was like a $10 million check. And it was like, okay, we can give this thing a run. And um, it's just been off to the races since then. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. So, Hubi, it's this new LinkedIn bio platform. You have a ton of celebrities on this invite only platform, right? You've got Akon, you have Tom Brady, you have Jeff Bezos. Like, what, what is going on here? What is Hubi? Absolutely. So, we launched Hubi right smack in the middle of the pandemic as a solution for all of our creator friends that just happen to have millions of followers on social. There are a couple different platforms that were out there in the space, but the solution wasn't doing it for them in terms of stack links and so we really wanted to take an approach on building a platform that was focused around some of the top creators and celebrities in the world and we, we enjoy storytelling and, and creating a, a, a brand on social and uh, it's been quite a run here but it's, it's really just been focusing on those core creators. That's amazing. Yeah. And what sets Hubi apart from the other LinkedIn bio platforms that are out there? Absolutely. I mean, it started with, you know, again, building something for our friends to use, right? And the visual side of it, we wanted to be able to help retain their audience, right? And I think the cool thing that we've really, you know, set ourselves apart with has been not only the brand, but the way that we're one-on-one -on -one with our creators. So we actually have developed relationships with them and, you know, we help propel them, right? And that's with the product. That's also with other things that they do, you know, in terms of podcast appearances or, you know, special, uh, you know, treatment in terms of games and, you know, certain elements like that. But in terms of the product, we're really kind of rolling out and I'll let you jump into some of the new features that we have coming in, being able to help our creators, our users make money and monetize in certain unique ways, right? That's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, what are these new features? Yeah, and, and, and just to, to echo what Cass was saying there, I think never underestimating the value of a brand and, and, and storytelling at scale. We put a huge emphasis on that. I think the focus of building for a core user group has been a big differentiator for us and, and also building tools and functionalities behind the teams that actually manage these big time talent has been a, a big competitive advantage of ours. In terms of the new feature set, we want to allow our users to follow their audience back and ultimately make as much money through their fans and, and closest followers and so we are releasing direct monetization features of the platform where you can sell content directly from your page you can message with your audience for a paid period of time and in addition to that we are starting to uh, build out a product that more of the general population can come to Hoobie and create a, a page as well um, so a subscription offering as well so why invite only and do you have to be a celebrity to be on your platform yeah so the invite only model in the early going was really about focus on building a solution for those core needs. We will be opening the platform up at some point in, in, in certain capacities so for the ability of people to just come and sign up, but it really was in the early going. We wanted to build a solution around those and ultimately become sort of the hub and spoke for the entire creator economy where all the transactions with fans, brands, and so on and so forth happen directly on the Hoobie page.
change. Yeah. And you know, especially early on too, and I think even at this point, we wanted to help our users stand out, right, and separate from the pack, right? So anyone can have, you know, something like a link tree. But, you know, we wanted to put the top tier creators, you know, on Hubi so that it ultimately gets more clicks, right? And that was essentially the goal at the beginning in terms of building on top of, you know, that core focus set of users, right? And so instead of building for all the micro influencers or all of the, you know, more so entrepreneurs or smaller people online, we want to be really focused for that core set of users and build something that works for them. I also have to ask, the name Hubi, where does that come from? How did you come up with that? Yeah, and there's been a couple iterations of, of Hubi along the way, but we actually had a, uh, a marketing firm that we tapped into when we first started launching um, this, this new company, and we told them we want that double O, Google, Yahoo, Silicon Valley mm -hmm. sound, and they came back with, it, with a bunch of crappy names, so we got on a whiteboard, and originally it was this idea of what are your hobbies? How do you want to be perceived? So it was sort of a play of words on that. Um, but we loved the shortened link. It's a Belgium domain. So our URL, our Instagram handle, um, anywhere you can find us across the entire web is just ho.pp. Well, congratulations. And where can people, well, I guess, no, it's invite only, guys. Sorry. You've got to wait to be invited. Sign up for the wait list. There may be an opportunity coming. Yeah. Okay. And that is through your Just on our website. Through, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, so thank you so much. Thank you for having so me. Thank you. Thank you.